Concord Flintlock, no one gives a damn. Hollow Life, VTuber, Ness, Matt, Grand Slam, Pube, Hair, Kim, Bel Air, make em queasy. Crowd strike, clog your pipes, just that easy. Vandalize art, what a commie addiction. Woke, stoke, flames, white, guilt, fan fiction. Lesbian, they, them, freeze, rock, steady, bitch. Ubisoft, lube, Yasuke, whole ready, bitch. Stretch my hands to you, what a journal's useless information more than an angry hallucination. How now brown pierced pronoun gay obese dyed hair inferior quality. Race swap pander gaslight tell lies exposed a griff in the land where the sun rise. Reach for the sky to beyond infinity with great power comes great responsibility. Stretch my hands to you. You need to profit, but you chose queer. When will the modern audience appear? Until the consultation stops. Expect decline. This is slop. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like and subscribe to join over 98,000 beta testers. I know many of you are routinely being unsubscribed. Funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> For so many years, they've pretended not to understand what the issue is. Well, the AI understands quite well. The same AI that will be replacing the people who need to deceive their audience to get them interested. You didn't expect all that flute, did you? But here it is. Dead on arrival. You cheer, it's a good game, shill journos. Never mind that you worked with Sweet Baby Ink and have it up your ass refusing to address it. Oh, it's only charging for cosmetics, you say? Yes, because that's the only thing they can get away with charging for. And who would want cosmetics for the biggest thing you woke nobodies are forced to tiptoe around to retain your early access? You know that thing that you would be more irrelevant without? Your early access? The uninspired character design isn't just ugly, it's bland, deliberately lacking edge, it is soulless, it is sadly self-insert, partially because of all that sensitivity consultation. Concord has an open beta that anyone can play, but nobody's interested. And the big way to tell if you're dealing with a woke, shill content creator is if they avoid recognizing the elephant-sized, pronoun-centric DEI design philosophy for the slop that they have thrust in your face with the expectation that you are to pay, and then to also pay thereafter for cosmetics, for characters with models as repulsive as these? Get a motherfucking grip. Just a quick reminder, Sushi Squad, the game being given away for free, the one with the dyed-haired writers, yes, the game with barely 300 people playing on Steam, gender-swapped butch they-them freeze in Sushi Squad as a confirmed lesbian, of course, joining the insecure Captain Boomerang and insecure Joker for a modern audience because it's feminist right in this bitch. Whoa, dudes, don't everybody line up to play at once. It's free representation. Then we have the Sweet Baby's Flintlock game that Shill Publications run damage control for, asserting that there was no association with SBI in stark contrast with reality. These publications are so pathetic and desperate for engagement that we have to hope that they're not so delusional or brain damaged that they actually believe the cum gargling punchlines that they produce in the way of headlines, including but not limited to shit like this. Flintlock, the Siege of Dawn is genuinely an Elden Ring and God of War mashup. You, you motherfucker. <laughs> you, you, you kiss your mother with these fingers? The fuck is wrong with you? So close to being a great Dark Souls for newcomers. Because apparently Dark Souls needed an infinite health switch in the options menu. It's free comedy. Or, I guess it will be the Dark Souls after you guys get your hands on it, you know what I mean? My name's Alona, my nail polish, my vagina, where's me lighter? I got a man to pound me snatch and now I'm handicapped. Oh no! Hero has it been the cancer? Good said everyone, reinventing the wheel with a halo show, overcomplicating the deep voice man in armor shoots aliens, damn, taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park, that's big hilly churl energy, 
so brave of you to speak out now on shit like Forspoken. Is that all it takes, you know, since Luminous Production, like, pretty much won't be producing anything else from now on? Just a little bit of time passes and you guys can be real about things. Y'all should be real about things in the moment. You should do what the AI can do better than you, and it might make it seem as if you're useful. Unlike what you deem useless information, Paul Tassi, journalist of Forbes, because it would appear as though the damn near half a million motherfuckers who are interested in figuring out which games do and don't have DEI sorts of garbage involved might have been potential customers for the types of fucking games that we're watching that can't manage a couple of views, a couple of likes, a little bit of interest, a little bit of buzz, a little bit of motherfucking hype, because they ugly, nigga, and that's how you're trying to make money, and that's how you're putting yourself out there, and it'd be one thing if there was proper variety. Variety, who would argue with everyone properly being included, but you exclude the pretty, the titty, the white, the straight, and these devs, these journos, these shills have put their fucking foot down to make it abundantly clear whom they side with. And that's why when they get the opportunity, they won't be nice. They have no reason to. You've made it clear that they should just make the games and what? Is the implication that they should gatekeep and keep your kind out because that's what you would do? Because that's equality? Or is it revenge? The real nerds, the real dorks, the real geeks, the real gamers, we do not see the separation because what matters is the game. Y'all want to make a movie with this Concord dribble? You want to suck dick? That's your own business. But when people pay for entertainment, you're going to give it to them. You're going to supply that fucking demand or you can collapse. And I guess that's what we're seeing here, huh? But again, I look at, I was excited for something like Splitgate. And then, oh no, the shaved side head, that's the same garbage I've been seeing in that boneheaded Dune Awakening shit. We watched that together. What a sad state of affairs. Spider-Man live service canceled. Last of Us faction canceled. But Concord? Oh hell yeah, that's green lit. And PlayStation had big fucking, ooh, they were, they, you know, they were really gambling on this thing. This is what it is. The, holy shit, this is going to be great. So remember a while back when they had had people play testing marathon and after it they asked the creators to raise their hand if they would play this if it was released tomorrow yeah it was an early game uh, build or version of the game sure but eh, nobody raised their hand you know what i mean but maybe you guys and your pronoun robot having game will really bring it on home if you just keep telling people what they like that's how it works right is that what the asians are gonna do how far do you think we are from speaking a prompt into an AI that will effectively be able to build us a game? Will it be operating under the constraints that you're imposing on the no titty, no pretty games that you guys are having over here? Microsoft is losing its mind. And even though DEI is no longer business critical as you fucking rebrand that into something else that you're going to just be making people miserable with a la fucking Disney, right? Hope I pray in a God they get the lawsuits that are coming to them because it's discrimination regardless of what word you want to call it you don't deserve people's money you're not entitled to people's money so i hope that you have woken up before they and they wallet go go because what you're showing them is a hell no i remember mortal kombat developers telling people that they must not be fans if they have any issue or critique with the direction that they were going and okay so look at you now you doing Concord numbers, at least on this platform. And even if the layoffs that have hit NetherRealm are only for the mobile war, is that better? It's hard to do mobile? I guess it is when you can barely remember not sucking. I guess it's been that long. The big thing that we're waiting to see in this space is just how compromised some of the projects moving forward are. I honestly should have more of a bow to put on this video, but I just want to get back to playing the first Descendant. And when that kicks into gear with its events and everything, you know, I, I hope it's something we can have and play together. I'm leveling up some characters so I can hopefully kick ass and carry you through whatever. My God, man, we're going to get back to playing. I love you. 
I thank you for your support to the patrons, to the big titty beta testers. Follow me on Twitter, follow, jump in the Discord, you know, ju uh, just keep me aware of what's out there. And Azure Promelia is the next thing I give a big shit about, but a lot of people were surprised by this Neverness to Everness game that, you know, allowed you to drive cars and it, people are getting Mugen vibes from that, which I've been trying to show people too. So, look, Zenless answered the question I posed in my top 10 upcoming games for a non-modern audience. It's, can they get away with this? For me personally, no, but for some, maybe yes. And at the end of the day, appeal is what's gonna keep these people on the goddamn map. Something that the West doesn't seem to understand. So good luck to them with the history revisions. It doesn't seem like Japan is in any way pleased with that. I love you and I'll talk to you all soon. Take it easy, and I'll see you when you're willing to lift that...